Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel, Chris and Michelle, and today I'm here to show you how I did my DIY crochet braids wigs. And pretty much all you're going to need is two packs of Marley hair. I use this brand right here in a 1B color. You can use any Marley hair you like. I chose this one because it was really soft, it held a great curl, and it mimicked my natural hair. The first thing I did to make life easier for me was that I curled all the hair before installing onto the neck cap. So I got these medium pink size perm rods and all you're going to do is just wrap the hair around and twist. Wrap the hair around and twist. Almost as if you're doing a bantu knot per se to get this kind of curl pattern. Once I'm done doing that and I had about 15 to 20 perm rods, I will put it in a huge bowl, pour boiling hot water on top of it, left it in there for about 5 minutes, dried it off, and I was all set to go. Once you're done curling the hair, you're going to get this kind of curl pattern that you see featured on my head. And it was as easy as that. At the beauty supply store, get a dome head, a knit cap, as well as a crochet needle. Each costs about anywhere from a dollar to five dollars. I'm going to take that crochet needle and put it right through the neck cap, grabbing a couple of loops to make it a little sturdy, and then I'm going to take our curl. What I'm going to do is take it from the center, which is the middle, and I'm going to twist it a little bit to make it easy to put through that hook and pull it right through. When you do that, you'll have one loop on one side and the two ends on the other side. All you're going to have to do is grab those two ends and pull it right through the loop and you have just crocheted your hair onto the wig cap. You can also do this on your braided or cornrowed hair as well. I'm going to tighten it a little bit and then I'm going to take the other end of the hair, just one end, and I'm going to wrap it through that loop one more time. I'm doing this one to secure the hair onto the cap to make it a little more sturdy to know that if you pull on it, it's not going anywhere, it won't loosen. And two, it kind of gives me an invisible part as well as a fold over method and a little bit more volume on top. Once you're done doing that, you have your curl in place, you can fluff it out or style the wig as you want. I'm just going to give you guys a close up of how the neck cap looks on my head. It almost looks as if I have a parting space right there and only the band is showing. I absolutely love the crochet wigs because I can take it off at night, moisturize my hair and it just gives me a lot of flexibility since I always love to change up my styles. One key tip I have is to not add a lot of hair in the back, space it out a lot so that way you won't have too much volume. Then take your scissors and style just to frame your face. It's as easy as that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out or click on the other videos on my channel and subscribe. Happy happy hair journey. Bye!